the factory because they, I mean, they absolutely take care of their models. It's like a family. They, they're just, they're great, great people. Mm. So, which are the, your favorite porn actors or co-actors in porn industry? Um, you know, I don't have... I don't have a lot of favorites. Um, I have a lot of friends who do it. Yeah. I'm only actual like friends, friends with a few of them anymore. Huh? Um, most of them, I mean, I just, I really don't talk to you. Not for any reason. Mm -hmm. It's just with my schedule, I, I don't get to go out. Most of them are in LA now, so I, I never ever get to see them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we text back and forth every now and then. Lex Saber, who's one of my friends, mm -hmm. um, beautiful little. Latin guy, he's like five foot three, four, and just hung like a rhino. And we were actually friends before either of us knew that the other one was in the industry. Oh. And I only found it out going through some website of a company that wanted to use me and saw his picture. So I called him up and I'm like, why are you working for this company? When were you going to tell me? He's like, well, how do you know? And it came out that we were both in the industry, but it had been probably a year working just never having come across one another, no pun intended, okay. but never having come across one another. And then realize, but he, him I, I still keep in touch with, and there are a few others, but very few. So, um, regarding that matter, um, again, uh, in the straight culture, like let's say, in this area, I know it's like from San Mateo all the way south, there's a big, big uh, stereotype of gay culture in San Francisco mm -hmm. that, um, Basically, what from what I've heard from a lot of people, they would always say the gay culture is nothing but sex. Is that true or false? Um, it's true to a point, uh -huh. but I'm a walking contradiction to it. I'm in the adult industry, mm -hmm. but I want nothing more than to have somebody that's mine, somebody that would eventually love me, that I could love. That, sure. You know, you come home from a long day at work, and then I go to school, and I just want to come home and have somebody there to cuddle with, to watch a movie with, sure. someone to have dinner waiting. True. Someone that when I have a free Sunday, we can go to brunch, go to a movie, go to the park. You know, yes, it's sex. If you look at hetero relationships, it's always the guy wanting sex and the, the girl saying, I'm not a piece of meat, don't treat me like that. So if you put two men together mm -hmm. who have no one telling them no, mm -hmm. they're just going to have sex. And we fuck like bunnies. <laughs> and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but there is a reason behind it. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the straight guys that, that look at us as, as whores and, and sex monitors are the ones begging their girlfriends constantly to have sex, but being turned down. We just get it more than they do. True. About the gay bath scene, left gay clubs and, let's say, Steamworks, Arrows, what's the point of having those establishments? when it adds more stereotype to the gay community, like, you know. Um, you know a stereotype is never going to go away. Uh -huh. um, you know, you can question any stereotype and have the same argument. Mm -hmm. Typically, they'd be of, of a racial nature, mm -hmm. but you can look at any any certain, you know, race and say, well, you have this, why would you do that? It just, it just exacerbates the stereotype, and I won't go into any of them because it would be perfectly rude on camera, but, and it wouldn't be to be rude, it would simply be to, to, you know, show the point, but mm -hmm. it's an establishment like any other, you know, you've got somebody, again, that, that leads a seemingly straight life mm -hmm. through the day, mm -hmm. they go there at night and they have their fun, True. sex is fun, it shouldn't be something that someone frowns on, it shouldn't be something you're afraid of, True. if you're good at it, if it's something you like, then do it as True. much as you want. You know, there's this ideal that it's bad, you shouldn't be out having sex, but sex is really fun. True. You know, and, and I see no reason to not. So, regarding uh, the lesbians, according to the straight community survey, it's that they tend to have the longest relationship than gay men. Is that accurate? Um, it might be. I mean, I've never been quote-unquote straight, so I can't say. Um, what I can say, though, is that you know, they look at, at what we do and, and the way that we live our life and they go, well, that's why they don't have relationships. Oh. But there's a certain level of oppression where we're not given the same rights that they are. The lesbians and the gay community has a different right agenda? There's a big difference in it? What, you're saying like lesbians or straights? I mean like the gay, I mean lesbians and gays, you're referring to which part? Oh, straights. Okay. The, the, I mean, I, I don't know much about lesbians except that they don't typically like me. Oh. Um, I, don't, I, I have a few lesbian friends, but uh -huh. for the most part, lesbians do not like me. Are you serious? Yeah. They don't like you because you're gay? Or? Um, I think lesbians have an issue with pretty guys. 
With? With pretty guys. Oh, okay. And it's not that I'm hot or that I'm gorgeous, but I have softer features. I naturally have, you know, really curly hair. Mm -hmm. So I, I've come across many that it's usually the more butch, angry, what I call like the house building lesbians, the ones you can find at Home Depot, um, usually don't like pretty boys. Oh, okay. So. I'm sorry, I, missed, I, I thought you would ask about heteros. <laughs> so I, I kept going. Oh, no, it's okay. Uh, but is there an FTM community in Castro? Female to male to male? Oh yeah, there's. I mean, there's roughly no women here. Um, there's there's virtually no women here. I mean, there are lesbians here, but okay. if you look at the ratio, it's it's massively outweighed. I mean, you can go to any nightclub mm. and maybe see one girl for every ten to twenty guys you see. You look at any dance floor and it's half naked, drunk, yep. high, gyrating bodies, and you very rarely see a girl. And if you do, it's some some person's fat fag hat. So, have you heard the term? Straight women would chase gay guys all oh, the yeah. time. Oh god, yeah, I've had it. Uh, why, why, why is that? We're unobtainable. And you know, if, if you had a straight guy and, and and you liked him and you went after him enough, you'd probably get him for at least dinner or a date or something. He probably came at one point, but no matter how hard a girl tries, she's never going to get the gay. But I've recently met two gay guys who actually had sex with women in the past. What is your intake about that? Um, some do. Um, I choose not to. I've never had sex with a girl. Mm -hmm. um, there are some who are just curious because they've never done it. They want to see what it's like. I can't speak for them. I don't know why, you know, what somebody's thought process is. Was it methodical? Were they drunk? Mm -hmm. Was it a dare? Mm -hmm. Was it a friend? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just there's so many variables. I can't speak on why they would. I would never. Okay. I've been offered by girls and I would never. You would never touch no. a woman. I wouldn't be straight if you paid me. If there was a, a, a surgical procedure uh, to make me heterosexual, I would never. So regarding the porn industry, have you noticed there's a lot of gay porn actors that used to do straight porn? Um, a bit, yeah. Um, there's more work for a man in gay porn. Mm -hmm. And if you watch most straight porn, the guys are usually a body and a dick. You rarely see their heads. Mm -hmm. Because they're not the focal point. They don't make straight porn for women, they make it for the men. Mm -hmm. So the women are the focal points, they don't get very much work. Mm -hmm. Or they use as extras, they're not paid as much. So they get paid more, they're pretty in the face, they've got a nice body, nice dick, mm -hmm. they're used. So they're a commodity. So what I noticed about the website of Adam for Adam, I would get constant messages mm -hmm. of guys who would claim in their status looking for a relationship, but they're looking to hook up. What's up? Is that normal? Um, I think it's normal. I, I think 